Hey guys, how are you going? My name is Dom and I just want to demonstrate today for you guys the usage of the CSS target pseudo class. Okay, so essentially this pseudo class allows you to select an HTML element when the ID of that element matches the URL fragment identifier. Okay, so if you're not too sure what the URL fragment identifier is, Essentially, it is the part of the URL that begins with the hash. So, you definitely have seen it before, or I'm sure you have seen it before. Um, it looks something like this. So, if I was to say, for example, down here, add the hash of text body one. If I go to this page now, we can see that we scroll down immediately to the elements, which has the ID of text body one. Okay, so um, that is what the URL fragment identifier is, but the CSS target pseudo class allows you to select those elements. Okay, so let's take a look at an example of the usage of this particular pseudo class. So inside uh, the, uh, the text editor for this page, it looks something like this. As we can see, we've got just some really basic um, styling on the text body class, a bit of padding and a margin, and the text body elements look something like this. As we can see, really straightforward, just a div with that class with an ID, and of course a header tag, and then some paragraphs inside of those. So let's make use of the target uh, CSS pseudo uh, class to um, target one of these elements. Okay, so let's just simply say colon and then we're going to say target. And that is basically how you're going to be using um, this pseudo class. So now, once we're inside here, we can apply some styles. For example, let's change the box shadow to make sure that um, the, uh, the selected um, uh, body of text has a nice background, uh, sorry, box shadow to of course highlight that it is the one you've selected in the URL. Okay, so we can say for example right here, box dash shadow, we can say uh, zero, zero, and then something like, let's just say 60 pixels at RGBA, zero, 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 and then we can say 0 0.6. Okay, so now let's save this and refresh the page and now adding the my text body or the text body um, fragment to the URL. We can see, of course, our text body right there is now highlighted with that uh, with that box shadow. So that's the basic usage of the CSS target pseudo class. Okay, but I do want to show you one more example of how you may want to use this because um, you know this can be used on a variety of different uh, you know situations to create many different things. Um, you might see a lot of examples online of people using it to create modal windows um, or pop-ups, light boxes things like that um, using a pure CSS solution. I'm not going to get into that because it's going to be quite a bit of uh, you know things to cover. However, I do want to show you one example which to be honest I think I actually have seen before be used on the web. So essentially I'm going to make it so uh, you know um, the text body which gets chosen up here is going to sort of, you know, flash or like highlight just a little bit so the user knows where to actually read. So it might be a bit annoying at first, but of course, um, you want to use this within reason. Okay, so let's go back inside here and we're going to be defining um, an animation or keyframe. So we can say keyframes just like this and we can say for the identifier, let's say for example, um, highlight importance. So um, of course this identifier name is uh, not too creative and probably isn't the best. However, um, it gets the point across. Uh, we're going to say right here at 50% of the animation, we're going to say transform and we're going to say scale at 1.05. So basically we want the uh, the body of text to sort of pop up um, for the user to see that of course this is the one which you navigated to. Okay, and then inside here we can change this box shadow to instead be animation. Um, I might just remove all of this default uh, placeholder um, areas. I can say right here, highlight importance, okay, then I can say 0 0.5 seconds as the animation duration, and we're going to make this run twice. Okay, so now of course, um, the target um, element with the ID in the URL fragment identifier, if I refresh the page, or at least just do this and 
press backspace, press it again, we can see now um, we get a nice animation when loading the page. So as I said, I think I may have seen this be used before, but of course, um, if you are going to use this technique right here, just make sure you use it within reason as it might be a bit annoying to a few users and things like that. So anyway, that is the CSS target pseudo class. Uh, thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you later.